EDC enthusiasts, I'm Diener. Welcome to the channel, Genetic Modified Vikings. We got an unboxing today. Uh, this is my second take on this. <laughs> um, originally, I had a box sitting here from DLT Trading, and uh, I thought it was the correct box that I'm doing the unboxing for. It was not. It was a previous box that uh, I had purchased, or an item that I had purchased that I had accumulated the unboxing. At any rate, here we are. I'm doing, I'm hoping this is what I think it is. Um, I have no reason to believe it's not because I had two purchases in the last two months from DLT Trading. This is the second one, so this has to be it. So, that being said, uh, I, uh, I used to be into a little bit into photography, not anything professional, just experimenting with colors, textures, lighting, all that kind of stuff. And I got out of it for years. And uh, once I got the channel and then I got an Instagram page, I started to get back into it, you know, because of, uh, of all the, uh, the different posts and, and photographs and, and shorts and all of that that the, uh, the knife enthusiasts are doing. I thought, well, I'll get back into it. So if you haven't seen my Instagram page, check it out. Go there. Um, th it's a lot harder than you think to create a good photograph, uh, especially with multiple items with the shadows, the colors and all of that. Um, so that's kind of what this video is about. I've got some things here. I'm going to switch down now to the dual camera mode. There we go. Here it is, this box here. Um, I've purchased something similar to this, and uh, but these are more EDC items, not necessarily uh, a knife. And I'm going to pull some knives into this mix as it relates to kind of the Instagram approach. That is, you know, kind of create something that you can post on Instagram. And uh, so we'll go from there. So I'm going to switch down to the top down. There we go. We're going to use the uh, the trusty Chavez. And what I might do just for the hell of it is to uh, maybe at the end uh, of this video is put a, uh, the screw up that I did <laughs> when I thought, when I opened a box that I, I thought was this box. And it was not this box. Now, I'm hoping this is not going to mess up here. You know, oh, yeah, this is the right one. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to pull the microphone over a little bit closer. Okay, guys. Here it is. You know me and my Chavez, right? I love Chavez. My single favorite uh, designer. And, uh, but these aren't knives. Obviously, this is a pry bar. I have one like this. This is, uh, let's just open it up. I have the plain titanium version of this. They went on sale. I think they're like 50 bucks, $49.99, something like that. And, uh, but here is the brushed anodized titanium blue. And, uh, the reason why I got the blue, you will see here shortly. Um, I've not done a video of all of my Chavez knives, but I'm going to be pulling some over into this uh, video here. But anyway, this is a, this is sharp. I think you'll agree. This is really nice. Let me just grab the uh, the plain tie. Here is the uh, the plain tie version of that, and again, it's like a a dual angle there's two different like angles coming in on that i don't know if that's showing up or not uh yeah you can kind of see it right there there you go at any rate that's the plain tie that's the blue anodized version of that it looks as almost they they anodized it and then they maybe even a double anodizing they anodized it they brushed it up and then they anodized it again because it almost have like a has a two-tone you can kind of see it right there like a two-tone blue at any rate i'm not sure uh, that'd be interesting to find out, but that's that. I'm going to set those guys right there. Now I have not, I have pens that I've used for my Instagram page. Um, I don't use these pens on a daily basis. It's 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 for photo op. I mean that's the bottom line. I, I work in an environment in the kitchen that I sure as hell I'm not going to walk around with a hundred and fifty dollar pen. And uh, so and what I mean by a kitchen, my uh, my sports bar. I am the uh, the cook, the chef the main man on that so anyway let's uh let's open this guy up i saw this and i thought you know what i don't have anything from chavez 
in terms of a pen. And there it is right there, the skull clip. That is iconic. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, there it is right there. And the cool thing about this, it's got the old school skull clip on there, right? That's beautiful. I love it. It's got the, uh, the holes on the side. It's almost like they're elongated a little bit. Um, that's kind of different. It's kind of a hefty pen. There it is. That's it right there. Bolt action. Solid titanium. Very cool. So, and the reason why I, I picked this up is just to kind of add to my Instagram variety. Um, not for any other reason than that. I won't use this pen. I've got my pens at work. This is, uh, if, if I'm going out like on a special occasion or if I'm going to Blade Show, right, and I'm going to go get a, uh, a Chavez Custom, I might take this along, wear this, you know, put this in my pocket and uh, sign for the purchase with uh, this pen. Wouldn't that be fun? So at any rate, that's that. And now what I'm going to do is the Instagram component. I'm just going to give you an idea of what I do on my Instagram photos. I pull in one of these Hanks, right? This is uh, Ace of Hanks. I don't remember what this one is, but it's kind of like a dot matrix kind of a deal. And the reason why I got the, the blue one is because I do have, I got a couple of them. And that's this right here. This is the Chavez Street in the blue, anodized blue. And I hope that's coming across. Um, I think it is. It's a lot less blue than uh, the pry bar here, bottle opener pry bar. But you can kind of see um, kind of the way to go in terms of uh, setting up a photo. And I'm just going to set this up. I got a couple other things I'm going to throw in here. Here's a Finch Lucky 13. Not that this is uh, any uh, perfect example of a matching uh, secondary knife. But you can kind of see the blue going on there. And the, and the light is playing tricks on me right here. But I'm just going to pull that in just to kind of show it. Um, but it gives you an idea as far as the challenges in terms of the how lighting works in uh, in trying to create a photograph, a good photograph. This is a GEC. This is the uh, 592 uh, Hummingbird. This is the Hummingbird acrylic. One side has got more blue in it than the other. Um, you can see some blue going on right there. It's a really nice knife. This is out of my GEC collection. I, I have not done a video on this, but I thought, what the hell, I'll bring this in. But I don't know how that's even going to look uh, in terms of lighting. Uh, not much of the blue is showing up, but you get the idea, right, in terms of uh, trying to make something match and make a decent photograph. Here is a, uh, an Olight. Uh, this is an all black. This is the Olight 3T E08. That's all black. And you can try to bring the blue out of that by pulling this in. This is the 5T um, EOS, right? See, now here's the blue, but you don't have to make it. If you, if you show too much blue, right, you can see that it's, it's contrasting. This is stainless steel. That's titanium, but you can kind of just kind of bury it a little bit and kind of pull it out. Uh, the other thing you can do is uh, pull in a watch. Here's a, uh, my, uh, and I, and I use this on a regular basis. This thing is a beast. This is that uh, Leatherman, uh, I don't even know, remember the name of it. Anyway, it's got all the tools around the outside edge, uh, but it has blue in it, black and blue. So you can kind of pull that into a, uh, into a photo, right? There you go. See how that works? And that's, that's what I do on Instagram. I just take the shit that I got here in my collection. I just pull them in. I throw a label on them, let you guys know what it is. And, uh, and that's it. So I just want to have a little bit of fun with that. We're going to pull this guy out of here and just pull in, uh, just give you another knife. And I don't know, I don't remember the name of this. And I apologize for not knowing it. It's from Midgard's Messer. This is a, a limited edition 200. I don't even remember the name. Um, but this is, uh, there you go, you can kind of see the blue. It has very similar color blue uh, as the uh, Chavez Street. But... Uh, 
this definitely, eh, you know, in terms of the, uh, the skull pry bar, the Chavez, I think it really, it belongs over here with this guy. But just to show you, you know, how you can kind of mix and match a little bit, that's that one. Here's another one that I had that had some blue in it. This is the Plexus. This is a crazy, crazy knife. This is one of my favorite knives uh, in my collection. I actually have two of these, and I'm going to be replacing the blue anodized uh, inlays here with all black so that the black from the blade bleeds into the frame, which I think will really look cool. But that just gives you another idea uh, in terms of what you can do with all that. You can also uh, pull in a bigger uh flashlight this is the warrior right this is the uh stonewashed it still has a little bit of the blue in there this is the uh, a titanium version of it so that looks kind of cool and then you can do this is the uh which one is this one here this is the warrior mini 2 if you want to bring a little more blue into it a little more black but that stonewashed looks pretty cool with that yeah anyway here's a, a full tie plain tie warrior that really doesn't go too much it goes with the pen uh, but as far as the rest of this it doesn't go with if you wanted it to go with an actual knife here's the uh the kickstop version right so then that kind of makes more sense and then you change it up over here put a different uh secondary in there throw in the uh the plain tie version of that pry bar and, and bottle opener. So anyway, that's it. Um, I just want to have a little bit of fun, just kind of show you what I do when I make my Instagram uh, photos. I'm going to switch to the uh, dual camera mode. So that's it, guys. Just having a little bit of fun with it. Hadn't done anything like that before. Um, yeah, you know, one of the other things you could do. This is I got a uh, 229 Redemption. This has got the black g10 so you can kind of throw that in there and pull this out and throw that in there so that kind of works but at any rate that's what that is all about so that's how i go about it i do i set up the lighting uh i might have three different light sources one is a back lighting one uh from one angle to get rid of uh to accent something get rid of some shadow and then another angle to get rid of the front shadow and uh it's kind of a complex deal actually give it a try if you don't think it's hard give it a try so that's that um please like subscribe and uh share the video We're trying to grow the channel uh help me out here guys share it around and uh we'll go from there my goal is to try to eventually get to a thousand subscribers and i got one more thing one more thing i i started uh something on an instagram post and what I did is it was kind of a puzzle, a little bit of a puzzle. Uh, and it had to do with uh, uh, a 8020, Demco 8020, where it was laid over top of a bunch of forks. And they were alternating uh, directions on the forks. And I said, can you guess which documentary the photo was referencing? And there was two people actually that guessed it. It was the documentary Knives Over Forks meaning, you know, eat vegetables and be a vegetable-based uh, eater versus meat. Well, I eat them at all. I don't care. I, I, uh, I work out. I got to have my protein. So at any rate, I had two winners. One was Ryan. The other one was Mr. Mysteries. Ryan had a real detailed breakdown uh, in terms of uh, the philosophy of that photo. And uh, so I have two guys right now. Here, here their names are right here. And they're going into a year-end drawing. I plan on having a decent year-end drawing. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in another opportunity to be part of that drawing. I don't know what prize I'm going to have, but you can have a chance now to enter into the drawing. You're, there's only two guys that I've done so far. I'll be ramping that up here in the next several months uh, to the end of the year, getting in more people. But here it is. I just did a video on two sons, and I wore a T-shirt. And on that T-shirt is a logo here on my left chest side. If you can guess the name of the band or find out the name of the band associated with that logo, and you gotta be the first one to direct message me on Instagram, I will enter you into the drawing. And again, I don't know what the prize is gonna be, but I promise you, it's going to be a good prize. I may even have a second prize, second place prize as well. 
So that's that. Uh, in the meantime, like, share the video. This is Diener. I'm signing out.